What's up, y'all? Hi, my glam babies. I want to first start this video off by saying my only Instagram page is Carrie Stay Glam. Again, the only Instagram page I have is the one that I have linked below, and that's at Carrie Stay Glam. I also have only one Twitter. And I will tag that below. I don't really want to say that here. I don't want to get into trouble with the uh, YouTube police. But uh, Carrie Say Glam is my only Instagram. Um, please block and report any other channels. Do not let them lie to you and tell you that it's fake. You see, you see who I am in person. You know the sun is shining on me. So I just wanted to start off by saying that off the rip, that Carrie Stay Glam is my only Instagram channel. Please do not unfollow all the other ones. They're scammers. I will not be in my DMs asking y'all to send money that I'm, none of that. You know, <laughs> none of that. It's, it's not me, okay? It's fake, it's fraud. Anyway, Carrie Stay Glam. So I'm coming to y'all from my empty apartment. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I made the big move from Massachusetts um, to Florida. I know if you're OG Carrie Stakelam subscriber, you're like, wait, when did you move to Massachusetts? I thought you lived in Connecticut. Y'all, I left Connecticut about three years ago, and I've been in Massachusetts ever since. Um, no, about two years ago, I'm sorry. And I've been in Massachusetts ever since. Um... I had my daughter in Connecticut, and then after she turned one, I we moved to Massachusetts to be closer to her dad and her dad's family. Um, now things with that just did not work out at all. Um, so I took the big plunge, and I am now moving to Florida. Yes, so um, just wanted to update you guys. I have been staying in Florida, um, South Florida with my dad. I haven't found an apartment yet. As soon as I do, y'all gonna be the first to know. Don't worry, make sure you follow me on Carrie Stay Glam so y'all can keep updated on my Instagram and on my stories once that is all put together. Um, so I just cannot believe I did this. I am so proud of myself. I just got the last of everything out of this apartment. Um, closing on the first. Um, my new apartment should be ready the second week of October. Um, they have to get everything ready. So I did get an apartment. It's just not ready for me to move in yet. But like I said, we'll talk about that. Um, how am I feeling? Maybe you guys want to know how I'm feeling right now. At first, it was hell dealing with the movers. If y'all know anything about moving, you know that that shit is not easy. It is fucking hell all right i feel like i i spent so much money you know on this freaking move but i kind of knew that i gave myself a big budget um on the move and i'm actually coming in under my budget but not as under as i wanted to like i gave myself a small budget before and i gave myself like a a, a like a little like extra for like if i go over this is this and then i'm gonna I'm stop there i do it like that I do like a okay. This is my 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 one wanted budget. This is the budget if I this is as far as I'm willing to stretch my budget. And if I, I other than that, then then the stuff can't come. So I really actually went under. I was under my. I was at my. I'm a little bit over my um, first goal. So I didn't have to pinch too much into my over budget um, budget. So. That was good. Um, all my stuff is in Florida. I finally made it. I had, oh, I went through hell with that moving company. Um, you know, One Mind wanted me to talk a lot of shit about this moving company and kind of bash them. But I'm really on this peace journey, on a mental health journey. And one thing I've been doing lately is asking myself, is this worth my peace? Like, you're going to argue with these people. They had overcharged me, like, $600. And I know some of y'all going to say, oh, it's the principle of it. Is it this? Is it that? But really, when I think about it, the universe will get, 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 get them back better than I can. What my first priority is to keep my peace. My things came when I needed them to. They were late. 
they were late in the time that I was expecting them to come, but I still, I can't move into my apartment yet. So it actually didn't suffer me anything. I didn't really suffer anything. I didn't suffer any loss or anything like that. Um, so, you know, some, it's like when people say protect your peace, it doesn't mean you have to fight for your peace because fighting is not a peaceful thing. You know, like, is this worth my mental health? Is this worth my peace? Gary, you make that $600 back in a day. You, yeah, you, can, you can say, oh, they did you wrong, they did you dirty. But you know they did you wrong, they did you dirty. Say your prayers, say your meditations, don't talk bad about them because the universe will handle them. You know, and the universe will see what happened to you and handle you in the best way. So I'm going to just um, let it go because I'm happy. A lot of good things have been happening. Um, so I'm not really going to let that company and their little 600 extra dollars, please. I hope y'all enjoy it. You know, because I'm not going to fight y'all and mess up, you know, give myself bad cosmic karma. No, 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 no. I don't need that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my peace. Count my blessings and be happy, y'all. Okay, so I hope, you know, if any of you guys are on a mental health journey, I know you guys hear me talk about when I'm sad a lot, I like to talk about that. When I'm mad, I like to talk about it. You know, I never like to pretend that, that things are going well. Y'all notice I disappear. I won't post as much as I used to. And, you know, y'all y'all know when I'm sad. And I don't pretend when I'm, when I'm sad, y'all know. I take my time. I take my break. But right now, I'm so happy. Like, my state of mind is, I really did it. Like, yo, this apartment is empty. I am out of here officially. As of Saturday when I go home, when I leave here, today is Friday. So I leave here tomorrow night to go back to Florida. I will be officially a Floridian. Like, that is it. I don't live in Massachusetts anymore. I live down south now. <laughs> and I'm really excited. I'm really excited for my journey. Um, praying that all goes well with the moving of this apartment. Um, I'm waiting for uh, them to fix it. And then on top of that, I'm waiting for approval from the HOA. So, you know, hopefully that, all that goes well. But even if I don't, I, I don't get an apartment right now, I'm really not in a rush. I have a roof over my head. Um, I'm staying at my dad's house. That's been kind of crazy. I don't even want to get into that because that's very personal. I don't want to talk about my dad in any kind of way. That's been a difficult. If, if you are in your 30s and you've ever had to move back in with your parents you know that shit is not no that shit is not glamorous like no matter how much you love your parents and you love your family it's nothing like having your own place because your parents always you always gonna be your parents babies and they always gonna treat you like a kid and it's hard for for you to go from being a, a, a independent adult to going back to like your parents still trying to tell you what to do and it's like yo you know i'm grown with a kid but they don't give a damn they you know I'm just grateful to have a roof. I'm grateful that me and my daughter are on the street. It might be difficult to live with my dad, but it's also great living with my dad. Um, I'm not paying no rent. I'm not paying no bills right now. Like, we really just chilling. Um, we enjoy ourselves. We, are, we're, we go out to eat a lot. We go to the sprinkler park still. Like, it's fall, and my daughter is still putting on a baby suit and going to a sprinkler park. Like, we really enjoying it. I mean, the heat is crazy. Oh, and I know Hurricane Ian, oh, God bless who, who, who it, hit, it has hit. We were lucky enough to not have gotten hit from it. We um, actually, I didn't even know about the storm. Let me tell you how good God bless me. I had no idea about the storm. I had made my reservations for this trip in advance, like months in advance. Um and when we were driving out Tuesday morning to get to the airport, the the storm, no, Monday night, the storm had hit, like it was hitting my dad's house, like <laughs> real hard, you know? And I was like, dang, but you know, the windows wasn't shaking, like my dad's house was sturdy and it just seemed like a lot of rain was coming. And we were in the house that whole day, then Tuesday in the morning, it was just drizzling. And then, excuse me. And then um, we got to, when we were driving to the airport, that's when it started coming down again. And I laughed so much at Floridians. I'm like, yo, this is how you know, like when you're in a climate, you're just used to it. I think like rainstorms to Floridians are like snowstorms to us um, New Englanders. 
because it was so much people on the highway just like moseying on with their day like it was an ankle deep water on the highway like it was ankle deep water and people were just like zooming by like doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. we on our way we on our way doo -doo -doo. and even my even my lift driver like he was just like very safe two hands on the wheel but just zooming through like we are driving through a fucking mini lake right now and y'all just chilling but it's just it's funny because I know when it when it starts snowing out here, if you're not from here, you'll get nervous. But like if you're a real New Englander or whatever, if you're from like a snowy climate, Detroit or something like that, you know how to drive through some snow. Okay, that shit don't 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 stop no show. So my dad's down there right now, and I asked him if he's okay. He said he's he's like you know he been in Florida so long. He like girl, don't be believing what you see on the news, and it really do be propaganda on the news. They be trying to hype y'all up. It really don't be be that bad everywhere they only show you the areas that get hit hard they don't sh and that and a lot of times those areas is not the majority of the area it's just like this one certain area got hit pretty hard not all of florida got like that but they make y'all think when you're not there in your heads that's what you see like damn all of florida got fucked up but it's, it's really not that serious um so my dad's okay and we just missed the storm i mean i saw the rain coming when we were driving but I didn't know it was a storm. I thought it was just a lot of rain. Like Florida, it rains a lot in in the fall in Florida. This is the rainy season. And then when I when I got here, everybody said I la I landed. Everybody said, Oh my God, I hope y'all are okay. I hope I'm like, why, why? Um, they said, Oh, Hurricane Ian. Oh, mind you, there's no cable. I don't have a TV where my dad is, so there's no TV in the room that I'm in at my dad's house. And the only TV that has cable is in his room, and I don't go in his room. But I don't really watch TV anyway. My daughter doesn't either. We're both computer. I'm on a I'm on the computer or the laptop, and she's on her tablet. We don't really watch TV that much, so no, I didn't get a chance to watch the news. So I didn't know about it that that way either. So I was just like, Yo, God is is just just be knowing because everybody was freaking out, and I'm like, I'm in Massachusetts, y'all. I'm not even there. But I'm like, look at God to be like, you know what? I'm going to get y'all out of here before this storm comes because this could be a bit much for you. So I was like, okay, that's a good thing. But my dad's fine. The house is fine. My car is fine. Um, everything's okay. Um, but I do send prayers out to those who, who did get caught up in that storm or, um, or who got hurt. Hopefully no one died. I don't know. I still haven't watched the news. Um, but I'm okay. So don't worry about me. I didn't get caught up in the storm. Um, what else I could think that you guys might want to know? Um, yeah, but we're good. I'm, I can show you guys the empty house now if y'all want to see. Um, but otherwise from that, we are good. Baby girl and I are going to enjoy our last few days out here in Massachusetts. We're going to go to the Big E um tomorrow morning tonight she's gonna have a slumber party with her cousins to say bye i'm gonna go hang out with my girls at the casino and have a really nice steak dinner with my girls um and just enjoy my my last few days i'm really sad that i am not gonna be able to say bye to more people but i do plan to come back out here for halloween uh, for like two weeks the, at the end of the month. I have, I'm going to do a couple photo shoots while I'm out here and a couple video shoots while I'm out here. So I'm going to be out here the, back in Masters at the end of the month. So I'll be able to say more goodbyes. Um, well, I want to say goodbye, but see you next time. You know, give more hugs. I want to, there's still some of my homegirls I ain't see. I ain't get to see my grandma because they live in the other, in other states, you know, live in Jersey, live in Connecticut. So I don't have the time to say bye to them, but my daughter's getting a chance to have some fun today and some fun tonight. And mama's gonna have some fun today and some fun tonight. I hope I win some money. Um, I've been selling a lot of my furniture um, on my Facebook marketplace. And that's been going well as well. I've been making some extra money on that. That's been great. Um, I never knew the power of like Facebook marketplace until today. But God bless, God bless that, that platform because that's been very helpful with the move because I couldn't really move everything to Florida. I had to really let some stuff go. Um, but that, that's been exciting to selling my stuff and it going to great homes. Um, what else? I think that's it, y'all. Thank y'all for y'all well wishes. I will continue to keep y'all posted and updated on this move. Um, and all right, and I'll show y'all around now. So this was my bedroom. 
this lovely view here of my buddy. Here's the floor. Bedroom's empty. I can't even believe it. I thought it was gonna be so much more emotional, but I'm really not. This is my empty living room space. I'm leaving the chandelier here for the new tenants. Y'all better enjoy that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm leaving that there for them. And now we're gonna enter my empty kitchen. Yeah. Saying goodbye. Pantry's empty. I had this full of food. You wouldn't even believe it. Gave it all to the food bank though. So that's a blessing. A lot of people got to enjoy the food. Um, oh, I freaking put my leg to sleep sitting on that floor. Here's my daughter's room, all empty. Oh. <laughs> Bathroom, all empty. Wow. Yeah, this was the office space for those of y'all who follow me on my other page, on my adult channel. Yeah, y'all know I filmed a lot of good stuff for y'all in this room. This was my office space where I filmed, and it's empty and it's gone. Yeah, you guys. So it's been real, and I will see y'all in the next moving update video. All right. Mm -hmm. Peace and love. And remember, my only Instagram channel is Carrie Stay Glam. My only Twitter will be linked below. All right. Love y'all, Club Mozzie. Y'all stay good. Love you, Glams. Y'all stay glam. Bye. Mm -hmm.